Yeah, so this is the game Magnus was black today against Vincent Kamer. Mm -hmm. We played a Grunfeld. And white played a sort of innocuous line, which I've played. Although after 94, I've never played Bishop F4. Thanks, Confused John, for the, you know, gifting a sub. So I, I've played CD here, which is the main move. Bishop F4 is a move, too. I just never played it. <clears throat> so he plays solid. Nowadays, people play stuff like H4, but he just played solid E3. Sort of boring. White's a little bit better. He played bishop g5. He could play knight g5, threatening this. And then it gets really hairy. The engine wants to play e5. Although Magnus may have played e6. Bishop f7, king h8. Confusing the audience. But instead of knight g5, which is the aggressive move, he played bishop g5, threatening this. And Magnus never played f6, because it's pinned. b5, that's a good move. Bishop retreats. Rook e8, good. Yeah, black's a little better here, because black has e5 coming and c5 later. Yeah, these pawns aren't very good. Yeah, this is this is what Black is hoping for in the Grunfeld. He's got two nice bishops. He's got nice queenside play. And this bishop really doesn't belong here on g5. <clears throat> c5 is good attacking the center. And d5 is just a very bad move. It's consistent with the way white's playing. But white has to try to equalize here. He can take on c5 and then play knight to d4. And the engine thinks that's equal. After this, you know, we're making this bishop too strong. So now the pawn is attacked. So he defends it. e6 is good, attacking the center. Yeah, and black just, well, black just has pressure all over white center. And black has excellent play everywhere. And black, white's played like bishop here and bishop here and bishop here and bishop here. You gotta be kidding me. Or you could be kidding me. Rook b1, threatening this pawn. c4, def stopping the bishop from attacking it and blocking this bishop, block fixing the pawn on c3. de, rook e6. And black black is winning here because white center has fall, fallen apart. And by winning, I mean strategically winning. This knight has so many good squares, you know, to come to. Bishop is good. <clears throat> this bishop is meek. Mm -hmm. um, this bishop is mills. This rook's coming. Yeah. Knight d4. Right. Bishop takes e2. Knight takes e2 is forced. A6. Defending the B-pawn before he attacks it again. Tries to get his knight to D5. Trying is the first step to failure. Yeah, this is a tactical <clears throat> mistake, Bishop G5. He's threatening knight E7 check. But Magnus plays the correct tactical move. Now this knight's hanging. So if you just take the knight and I take the knight, I'm up a pawn. Plus I'm threatening this. Plus you have two isolated pawns. So he plays knight e7 check. Magnus always sacks the exchange. And then this three to one is, is completely crushing. I got confused with all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Just So he sacks his knight. So if you take the knight, I take this knight. Okay. So instead white won the exchange. Okay. And then black took this, so black won two pawns for the exchange. So white's up in exchange for two pawns, and black has this crushing three-to-one majority. And the knight on c3 is really strong. Yeah. So the engine says black is completely winning. Yep, and then you push your pawns, and so forth. 
mainly, and so forth. This bishop's made so many moves, it's not even possible to count them. They loved that G5 square. One, two, or no, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think eight. And we're on move seven, so that's pretty interesting. D8, put it in H. Always sack the exchange. It's pandemonium. So the idea is if you take this, I can take this. Which probably is good for me anyway. Put it in H. If you play root G3 check, I can take it. Mm hmm It's pandemonium. And Magnus is two pawns up in the end game. So he didn't have too much difficulty winning. <clears throat> wow. He's pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to figure out which way to move his king. He decided instead of coming over here, he's going to take this pawn and keep his king over here. Put it in H. <clears throat> I like how he waited and got his king all safe from the rook and mm -hmm. pushed. And this was a nice move. Notice the rook is attacked, mm -hmm. and notice the pawn is attacked. Yes. So what's the only winning move? Um, let's see. Or G2 check. Then your king can defend your pawn or you can queen, depending on what he does. If you play H2, then rook H3 check is a draw. Uh, so he played here and then he resigned. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Hmm? <laughs> it's not that hard of a move. Chat got it. So in the... There's moves that the engine gives that has a different color, which means they're extra good. Knight takes e4 was one such move. And then in this position, b takes a2 was one such move, but that's pretty obvious. And then here, h4 was the, was the move. And rook g2 check. So he played four great moves, although, mm -hmm. I mean, some of them were not you know, pretty obvious. <clears throat> yeah. So a very good win by Magnus. Vincent Kamer back to the drawing board in the opening. Seemed like he was equal in the opening and then just got outplayed.